There's a major cartoon coming back, and I'm the main character. I'm waking up, new shoes, new socks, two blocks, TV locked on boondocks, boondocks. I bought a brand new Trey 8 with my old AK today, what's good day? What a do, Jive Turkeys, and welcome back to the Controversy. I'm your host, Dean Ellie Carter, and yeah, uh, I'm very disappointed in myself. Uh, as much investigating I have been doing in the Boondocks reboot, I've been pretty much a CSI slash Law and Order investigator in this whole reboot for HBO Max, uh, but there's been something that actually uh, did not come across my radar until recently. This has been out there in the public for about seven months, and I find that insane. So a couple months ago, I did a video reacting to J.D.'s Witherspoon's comments on the recasting of his father, a.k.a. John Witherspoon, granddad, Robert Freeman of the Boondocks, and... A lot of people thought it was going to be him. He's a comedian. He's an impressionist. He knows his father. Um, so everybody thought that was the logical choice to replace Granddad. Uh, and they were considering him. And to recap, but they went with a more well-known name. Now, in his video, he explains he knows who they casted. And he's not going to say anything. He claims that this person did not reach out to him or the family for any blessings. Which, if it's true, whoever they casted, I've lost a lot of respect for. I, I know who they chose, and this part is really gross to me because I, I've i met this person twice. I don't fucking care for them. I doubt they care for me. It's neither here nor there. I don't, I don't like or dislike them. I just, I'm neutral about it. But I sit back and I realize now, or like a little bit after this all happened, that I had, I had seen this person who they casted for the role on my, my social media on Instagram. And they were like watching my stories um, of, of like me and my dad, like the Starry Starry Night video that I put up and like the, the videos that are just the personal moments and the ones that are on my feed. And literally, I, I'm now realizing that they probably were, <laughs> and it's fucking gross, they were probably trying to practice how to sound like him based off of my grief and the videos that I was posting. And like just thinking about that really disgusts me and makes me really angry, but that's Hollywood, man. Uh, but there's been a lot of theories on who this was because there's a lot of people that do voice acting that could probably nail Granddad, besides JD, that is. And I was thinking it might be Godfrey. Afreon Crockett was one that came to mind. Uh, but there was some people that thought maybe it would be Jay Farrow, which is a logical explanation because he's an amazing voice actor, amazing impressionist. And I wasn't sold that that's who they actually picked, but now after seeing this video, I am 100% convinced that they chose him. Check out his own words from a comment that he got from an Instagram live. I do it. And, and also, there's, there's, a, there's something big in September that's about to get released. I have the main character. It's major. So I do do animation, my brother. I wish they could bring back. I wish they could bring back. Pretty on the left. Hand right up. Hand right HP 70. I love your comment. And let me tell you. There's a major cartoon coming back and I'm the main character. Your wish might be, your wish, your, your wish, your, your wish might be, <laughs> your wish might come true. It might, it's fucking, your wish is coming true. We talking about your wish is coming true. Fuck, you know, your wish is coming true, baby. So yeah, I think that's basically confirmed. There's no insider information. There's no announcements from HBO Max. There's no announcements from the Boondocks team. This is him on Instagram, basically confirming without confirming. And I gotta be careful what I say. This is not confirmed, everybody. This is not confirmed that he is playing Granddad, a.k.a. Robert Freeman. But if you listen to his words, not mine, it seems like that's what it was. Now, I have a theory. Stick with me. This is not confirmed either. I don't know anything. But I have a feeling after that J.D. Witherspoon video that there's been some redirecting on the Boondocks team. What I mean is, uh, we've not heard any announcements, as I've said, and that's a PR nightmare what they had to go through 
you recasted the dead man and rejected the dead man's son looks terrible in headlines looks terrible for everything it's 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 insane and you're going to be the bad guy every time for doing that um i mean to be fair jd is not required to have this role but i think me and a lot of people will agree he was fit for that role i think he would have been the next best thing besides his father that's his legacy i i, I thought that would have been an open set case on that but you know corporate corporate stuff uh they wanted a bigger name possibly but to go on with my theory, I think after that PR nightmare of JD exposing them, they went a different direction. And he might not be playing Granddad. Now, if they announce tomorrow he's playing Granddad, this is the video that showed you this is who they picked. I'm convinced that they actually did commit, uh, cast him at one point. But I'm not sold that he is actually going to be playing Granddad when it comes out. And this is why. My theory... Either Jay stepped down because he didn't want that backlash because you know it's coming if that's what it is. He would be, you know, called out for disrespecting the Witherspoon family, disrespecting the Boondocks legacy, all that stuff. So I have a theory that he might have stepped down in respect to that. Or I have a feeling the Boondocks staff said, hey, man, we, we can't go with you because people will not watch this. People... You know, as, as good as you are, this was probably a stupid decision on our part. We probably should have went with JD. Uh, and here's why I think that. I actually went to both of their Instagrams right after. This is a crazy Carmen San Diego theory. Take it with a grain of salt. There's nothing confirmed. But check this out. The Boondocks page follows Jay. They don't follow a lot of people, but they follow Jay Farrell for some reason. Interesting. But I went to Jay's page. You would think as hype as he was, it seemed like to be playing the iconic role of granddad, that way he would be following them. He doesn't follow them back. So take that, you know how it is. That's human psychology. Is there a reason he doesn't follow them? I don't know. I'm not confirming or denying anything because I don't know. That's my theory. My theory, again, to recap, they did cast him as granddad. But I'm not convinced that he is going to be playing Granddad. We shall see. Let me know in the comments what you feel about this. Do you think this was a stupid decision on their part? Do you think Jay actually would have been a great Granddad? Do you think it was kind of disrespectful? Let me know all your thoughts. And again, I am blown away how this is not blown up. I'm, 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 I don't know why this has not been talked about. This is crazy. Help keep your brother out the street. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love, peace, and chicken.